Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and I am here today to run a test. Can we conquer the whole world as Romania using that tank exploit, which is soon probably going to get patched once, you know, By Blood Alone comes out? Let's just jump into this now, shall we? Now you might wonder, okay, why are we doing Romania? Well, if you look at all the nations in here, there are probably only two that are really viable to do this exploit. The first would be Netherlands, because it has access to the oil of, well, the Dutch East Indies. But even then, its focus tree is kind of shit that you can't really do anything until late game. Don't get me wrong, it's still good focus tree, it's still really interesting, but it's not conducive to what we want to do. Romania, on the other hand, has all of its oil here within the country, and we can start doing very spicy and interesting things from the very beginning. So let's get right into this and test and see if this is possible. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and crank out some horses while we have to deal with this political bullshit first. Alright, royal dictatorship, let's go ahead and get this going. We are immediately going to revise the constitution and save our political power. Alright, revise the constitution, that means we can immediately go ahead and get our silent workhorse. And we can go partial mobilization, fantastic, get that going. Also, a historical is on, so literally anything could happen here. But let's get some research first, and then we're going to go for dominance. Because I'm going to want to start getting those tanks researched here as soon as possible. All right, political power, raise conscription, get more men, because we are going to need a lot more in the field here for the coming fight. All right, extra research, that means it is time to start getting our tank stuff ready and pursue the path of Balkan dominance. All right, that should be enough horsey boys in the field, so that if we go ahead and switch over to convert to infantry, that'll give us 180,000. What would that put us at? Yes, all right, that'll put us above 500,000, which is how many men we need in the field in order to do the rest of the stuff for Balkan dominance once we get down here. And since we're going to war soon, it is time to start racking up some infantry experience and ability. Let's do this, boys. All right, align hungry. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Poland seizes Danzig. <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like we're going to get spicy up top. As I said, this is a historical. Literally anything could happen. Now, the question is, hungry, will you accept? No, they will not. Time to go, boys. Anti-common turn pact? Sure, absolutely I will. Hungry, however, time to go. In the meantime, let's get some mill factories going, because we're going to need those to produce some tanks. All along, up and down the line, just doing significantly better here. Go ahead and send these in. Let's see if we can go ahead and wear on down through. God, we are just grinding away all of our shit here. Oh, whoa, was not expecting a breakthrough over here on this side. All right, just overwhelm them, overwhelm them, push as much as we can. Come on, if we can just make our way down to Pex real quick. Just cut that off, that should knock them out real quick. There you go. Lots of guns and fun. Now, I know that I could puppet them, but no. We're taking everything. We're taking all the factories. We're taking all of this. I don't want any of that broken-ass focus tree with Hungary ending up aligning itself with Germany to just screw me over. And we will max out priority on garrisons, occupied territory, and we're going to switch this over to our horsey boys and local police force. Just use as little equipment as we possibly can, because we don't have the equipment. I'm telling you this right now, we don't. And now let's go ahead and prepare for Bulgaria as soon as we have the opportunity. All right, machine tools done. That means we can start on improved conversion, which we're going to need to use to abuse this mechanic. And in the meantime, I think it's time we go ahead and start cranking out some mills. Now, the big question, will Bulgaria accept? Yes, it does. Okay, we got Bulgaria. Dawn of the European Pact. Uh, wait, what? Soviet Union declares war on Russia. <gasps> oh, we're gonna get a Russian civil war here, boys. Now, let's see if I can get this fast enough to actually get the divide Yugoslavia and everything else. I would love to be able to just go ahead and secure that. Chiang Kai-shek executed. Oh, my God. Will I get enough men out? Will that happen? It was 10,000. Will it go? I would lose a few days if I do it. Ah, yeah, no, I'm not going to get it in time. It's fine. I'm going to go ahead and fortify the border and we're going to get this started here because we need to get to His Majesty's loyal government quickly anyway. Czechoslovakia, you get to live for another 70 days, so be happy. And when we get that, we might as well go to try and split Czechoslovakia and just see if they'll accept. Actually, you know what? Instead of Czechoslovakia, they're already in a faction with Yugoslavia here, so we might want to try and break that first. Yeah, let's go for Divide Yugoslavia. All right, and now we can begin the subjugation of Yugoslavia. Let's go ahead and invite Italy and immediately begin claiming things. Let's see here. Of course, while all this is happening, let's go ahead and fix our actual government. Whoa, Yugoslavia is falling apart even as I'm trying to claim it. What? <laughs> all right, militarize the Sentinels. And one more day. Okay, can we go ahead and do this? Present the ultimatum. Wait, who's justifying on us? Greece is justifying it. Why would Greece be justifying it? What are they doing? There's no way they're going to actually do anything. All right, let's see if Yugoslavia will accept this then because I believe that's the final one. And let's present the ultimatum. Oh, they folded, yes! Oh, perfect. I actually did not anticipate that, but that is gonna knock out a huge chunk for Czechoslovakia. Tank designer, yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Ah, well, damn, Adolf Hitler refuses. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna get a claim on Czechoslovakia and then from there have to move on to something else. 
All parties must end. National Union of Greece is justifying against us. Are you going after Turkey? Now, of course, we have a claim on Czechoslovakia, so at this point, I guess that we just need to start justifying? Or something? I don't know what to do there. Greece, I have no idea why you would think it would be a smart idea to try to declare war on Turkey when you're completely surrounded on all sides. But it is time for you to disappear off the map. Oh god. That was a very quick victory then, okay. Looks like we're just gonna go ahead and take everything over here then. Not have to deal with any of it. Welcome into the fold, Greece. Oh shit, wait, Germany is now probably justifying against Czechoslovakia. Is world tension high enough for me to justify on them? No, probably not. And I can't revoke my guarantee because they are already guaranteeing me. God damn it. God damn it. I'm gonna have to take that really bad stability hit, aren't I? Germany has demanded stuff for the Czechs. I'm pretty sure they're gonna end up accepting. I'd, I'd, you know what? We're, we're gonna do promises of peace. I know our stability is about to take a really bad hit for 90 days. Oh God, this is gonna hurt. We can always get war support back up. We need, we're gonna need stability. We're, we'll, we'll take it. Promises of peace. We don't care. Czechoslovakia. I'm not gonna accept. I'm gonna keep this as long as possible, but I'm just gonna let you get overtaken. Goodbye, Czechoslovakia. I wanna justify war goal on you now. Conquer. Can I do that in 40 days? Maybe I could just do this. Maybe I could just do this and I'm gonna try and snipe a piece of it. Oh shoot, they took all of it? Oh my god, yes, they took it! They took it, that means I'm not gonna get hit. Holy crap, I was so scared that I was gonna get hit right there. Okay, that is actually super lucky. They just ended up taking all of it, so I don't have to worry about any of that whatsoever. All right, we're gonna spawn out all these horses. God, that's still not enough. That's still not enough. Are you kidding me? Oh, whoa, Germany is already going to war with the allies. Oh my god. All right, this will probably be the final one before the Bosphorus, because that Turkish Empire, fascist, yeah, we, we are going after them next. In the meantime, we can just start cranking out ridiculous amounts of basic tanks. 28 per day? Oh boy, here we go, boys. This is the start. This is the start of it all. We couldn't fight Germany before. We're going to fight it now. Well, not now. Not, not like right now, but we will. A month later, we got over a thousand tanks. Let's get all these over for our infantry. We got we to gotta start cranking out these number, boys. As soon as this completes, we, we, we gotta get it. We gotta get this down. Mexican Junta joins the Axis. What? <laughs> it's gonna be Romania against the world. I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this right now. It's gonna be Romania against the world. I swear to God, Turkey, Turkey, you better not join. You better not join the Germans when this happens. I swear to God. Anti-Soviet pact? Absolutely. Yeah, Germany, I'm here for you, buddy. I'm, I'm absolutely here for you. Definitely not gonna betray you at any, at any point. Nope. Okay, we got enough. We got enough. Let's do this. Secure the boss for us. All right, we're gonna get this done. We have a huge deficit in guns. We need a lot of different stuff here. Before we do any of this, since I know we got the tanks, let, we can just go ahead and make this infantry pretty beefy. Slapping on some armor. Perfect. Oh my god, no. We're gonna need 3,700 tanks for that? Mm, mm, mm. We gotta produce. We gotta, we gotta make more. We gotta make more. And we gotta get in the positives on equipment first before we can do anything, man. Honduras has joined the allies. What is even going on over there? All right, secure the Bosphorus, boys. Let's do this. Actually, I realize that both the Germans and the British, for whatever reason, are guaranteeing the Turks. So I can't do anything yet. That means that I cannot do anything. So I gotta withdraw all my forces and just bide my time until I can build up these tanks. And then the world will not be able to stop me. I guess at this point, all we can really do is go ahead and slap on one of these tanks to make sure that our shit is strong. And then just continue to pump out a whole bunch more tanks. That's all we can do. Because Zog is submitted to Italy. I, I, I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. So all I can do is try and pump out a whole bunch more tanks. Wait a minute. I realized something. If they're at war on both sides, and Italy, Germany, and Poland are together. No, Poland has joined. Poland joined the Allies. Wait a minute. That means that I could go ahead and dominate things from the other side. Oh, baby. We're training this up, and we're going after them. Screw it. We're doing it. Russia might be having all kinds of issues, but I, I will take out... <laughs> Germans. Start lend -Lease. Bulgaria, we gotta start integrating you. Just take a whole bunch of these shitty tanks. Fall of Warsaw, okay. Lower the autonomy of subject. Integrated puppet, you don't get to do anything. Bulgaria, you are mine. Netherlands joins the allies. All right, it looks like Germany is really trying to rank up on this side, which means they should be significantly weaker from this side if I just justify on them an attack. Could I, could I join the allies? Could I ask them to join the ally? No. I can't. I can do that in 10 days if I do it on this side. <gasps> Guys, you know that we have to do that. The Turkish Empire has joined the Axis. Oh no, that's actually not good. That's actually really, really not good. Shit. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of sitting and waiting until we actually have the manpower built up to do anything. Oh goddamn, France is about to fall from this side. Okay, new course of action. All right, new course of action. We have to clear them from this side and we have to do it fast. Because otherwise, France is gonna fall. Switzerland now. Oh boy. Wait a minute, that's gonna be really hard for them to break through. 
You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna give them the islands. I'm gonna let the Turks have the islands and I'll just force my way through the Bosphorus. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Well, boys, let's start justifying and finally do this. Hello, Germany. Welcome to the party. Come on, France. I'm doing my best to save you. Stay alive. The Romanian tank boys are coming. Thank you, United States. Send me all the guns you can because I'm gonna be seriously running out here. We are burning away so much manpower and equipment. I've lost 84,000 men so far. All right, tank boys, let's make a rush. Make a rush for Berlin, come on. They can't hold us back. If we could just keep them alive on this side. We're running out of manpower, but we got tanks. Let's go. Come on, I don't care how many of you I have to sacrifice. We are going to get here, goddammit. Wait, can I not actually do anything else from this side? Oh, well, now I can start to get some army. <laughs> army experience. Come on, we got this. Let's go, let's go, here we go, come on. I do not care how many Romanians I have to sacrifice for this. Germany will fall. Tanks. Oh, this is looking very messy, I'm just saying. Okay, maybe these guys need to stop their whole, uh, their whole push forward because we, we, we gotta take them out here. Oh my god, my deficit of guns is just getting bigger. We just, we need more. We need more guns. Come on, French, you can fight back. Come on, we are sacrificing so many lives here. Service by requirement. Everyone is needed. We, we gotta get as much manpower in here as we can. And the Royal Guards Division. Come on. Oh my god. The, the freaking Italians are starting to push us back again. Come on, fall Berlin. Let's go. Scavenger, let's capture some enemy equipment. Oh my god, the Italians are starting to pour through this spot. Uh, yeah, this is costing us a lot more than I actually wanted here at this point. lend -lease, yes, please send me all the guns. I need guns. I'm kind of burning through my entire country's population right now, so it is much appreciated. The return of Tsar Ferdinand. You better still be a puppet. You are. Okay. German Reich has capitulated to us. Finally! <laughs> After many years of bloody war, the tanks of Romania are finally breaking through. We've lost to half a million men ourselves. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Oh my god, wait. The United Kingdom is invading Turkey. Oh my lord, yes. Oh, it's finally over. And we have the most war score. Listen, you damn well know that we're taking all of the Balkans. We are taking all of the Ruhr. We're taking everything. Any kind of possible valuable thing is going to become ours. All right, I'll take a Polish puppet. Here we go, guys. The absolute bastardized peace deal. The first one among many. This is... We're not stopping here. It's 1940. We're going for a world conquest if we can. Which is a good thing, too, because we have an absolute stupid amount of everything here. Republic of Turkey is the target of foreign war goals. Wait a minute. So I could... If I... You have a truce with them. Do I have a truce with these guys, too? Well, I guess it's time to start justifying as soon as we are able to do something. Well, now that we finally have some manpower, I believe that we can begin to upgrade these tanks into something a little bit better. Let's do the improved one. Actually, you know what? We can wait a little bit of time, get our industry up and running, build up a surplus of guns and everything, because I know we're going to need that again. Meantime, let's crank out some more infantry divisions. At least a full army's worth. Wait, the Indonesian order has declared war on the Dutch East Indies. This seems kind of spicy. Well, time to start upgrading all these tanks then. Let's make an even better tank and shit out a glorious amount of them. El Salvador has joined the Axis. Where even is the Axis at this point? Well, I'm gonna have a lot of time with all this, so I might as well start justifying on something else and wait for things to happen. Oh wait, it's only gonna take 20 days to justify in Tunisia? I guess let's just go ahead and have a little bit of fun here. And in the meantime, we're just gonna keep on shitting out tanks, because that's how it works. Oh, hey, look, the justification for Savoy is done. I guess that means that we can go ahead and have a little bit more fun. Goodbye, France. I know you just dealt with the Germans, but the Romanians are coming for Paris. Well, looks like everyone's getting called in then. Oh, there we go. There's the Republic of Turkey now called in. And the German Republic, too. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's actually a lot. Now it's happening. It's just literally the Romanians pulling off the same thing that the Germans did. There goes Switzerland. And there goes France. <laughs> You heard Romanians in Paris will get ready for Romanian London. And there's that one. All right, well, the Dominion of Mexico. No, we're, we're just, we're just gonna take everything. And there you go. That's, that's that kingdom of Romania. We're done there at least. But the thing is, we're still not done. And the thing is, I think that we can use a lot more Romanian tanks since we keep on just shitting out more of them. Japan declared war on the Philippines, which means that the United States is now involved. But we got Romanians in coming for you, boy. Wait, and now Japan is declaring war on me? Really? Before I could go after you? You bastard. That is some bullshit. I just took this territory and you're trying to do that to me before I could do it to you? Mm-mm. That's not how that works. Soviets, I think it's time that you disappear as well. I don't care. At this point, we're just producing tanks for days. Everything can die. Go, my Romanian brothers. Spread your love of tanks everywhere. 
Of course, that also means that the United States needs to die too. Well, with gains over on this side, a halt on this side, United States, it was nice knowing you, but goodbye. We're raging a three-front war. This is bullshit. This is literally just pure tanks, just copious amounts of tanks. Why is all of this little bits Poland? What even is this? What? What? What is going on? Well, everyone, it is time for the very slow, very agonizing grind through all three th theaters of war that we are trying to fight in. Well, this is absolutely terrible. What do you mean you're calling Siam as an ally? This is easily one of the worst decisions that I think that I've ever made trying to go through all of this. Oh, hey, at least we're making progress over on this side. Just wiping up everything. No, can't stop the unlimited Romanian tanks. This is terrible, though. How many men have I lost? Oh, you know, no big deal. It's just around a million. There's plenty more bodies where that comes from for the great Romanian overlords. I, I genuinely don't understand why the game glitched and now all of a sudden all this. Wait, what fell? Oh, Latvia. Well, we'll take that, I guess. That seems fine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did that just cause me to lose all this stuff with the Russian Civil War? No. Are you kidding me? We have to do this again, boys. Well, Gabby, we have to justify on Russia again, because the Civil War did that again, and it has to start us over. I'm at war with every major power in the world, but we have unlimited Romanian tanks. We just have so many goddamn tanks. This is ridiculous. All right, Russia, time for round two, I guess. Let's go. Yep, that makes sense. Just copious amounts of lines of tanks moving against an enemy that doesn't even have any troops because they just fought a major civil war. This, I'd say, is going swimmingly just about everywhere. Is the United States still alive? I haven't even been paying attention over here. What? Oh. Oh. Looks like it kind of is. Are they not moving? They just can't stop the sheer number of Romanian tanks that are being shed out everywhere. We're not even using commanders. It's just tanks. It's just copious amounts of tanks. Oh, wow. Russia is making its way all the way down here. Well, that's interesting. None of it is my core territory, though, so it doesn't actually matter. Goodbye, copious amounts of Russians. That right there was around half a million men just wiped. Honestly, just, just let them have Turkey. I don't even care. And there goes the United States. And finally, that one is Russia, then. That took way too goddamn long. Everything belongs to Mother Romania. That's looking terrifying. I didn't even realize that as Romania that if you take all of Russia yourself and you get to rename some of its city, Tsaritsyn and St. Petersburg, you name them after your lovers. What the hell, Romania? Truly the romantic Romania. Lovely. Well, attack them from the north. Let's just go, boys. There goes Manchukuo. Oh, and there goes the Guanxi clique, which means that we can now start moving through all of this. We're just double teaming them from both sides here. There goes the Yunnan. Okay. Oh, wait, what, we broke through Siam? Well, shoot, we just cannot be stopped down here then. <clears throat> oh, you bastards thought you could attack me from behind. Well, guess what? Here comes the Romanian tanks. Uh, Japan, I, I don't know what you think you're doing trying to counterattack me from the north when I think that your home island might be um, in a little bit of trouble. I, I'm just saying. Look, just two and a half million dead. It's no big deal. Wait, nationalist Spain has joined Japan. Really? Well, what a coincidence that I can kind of just spam out 48 armies real quick or divisions. Spain, you did this to yourself. I'm just saying. And god damn it, it's finally over. Well, at least that finishes that one war. And now the last one capable of actually fighting is Spain. Finally. It's... God, this shit is taking way too long. Why did I do this? And there you go, everyone. The 1st of May, 1945. World Conquest. Now the only thing that I have to do is just wait and start incorporating all of my subjects. This will take a little bit longer. I am tired. And wait a few more months and we can finally get the last one. The l Are you shitting me? I forgot about motherfucking Iceland! God damn it. God damn it all. I swear to God, I do this entire thing and then happen to just forget this. God, screw you, Iceland. God damn it, screw you. And it's done. It's actually done. Iceland is over. Manage subjects. Get in here, you little shit. It's over. World Conquest, Romania, September 14th, 1946, with a stupid, stupid amount of tanks. Like, god 
damn it. Just look, it's literally nothing but tanks. All we have been making is tanks. So many goddamn tanks. Ah, uh, it's over. I'm done. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good rest of your day. Please let me know in the comment section what it is that you'd like to see next. Uh, I would appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, really anything you can to help this video with the algorithm. I've noticed that there's been a lot of stuff in here that I need to work on to pump more things out. And any interaction, anything you can do to help would be appreciated. I'm trying to boost these channels up as much as I possibly can. But anyway, that is it. I am done. This is way too goddamn long. I... Ah, this is ridiculous. Please have a good weekend or week or wherever it is you are. I don't know. My brain is fried at this point. Bye, guys. I've got to go ahead and stop talking here before I just melt.